sender. Sender is an essential component of communication. Sender is a person or a system which starts communication by delivering the message. By viewing this definition, you must have realized that sender is the person or sender is a system who starts the communication. If there is no sender, communication will not start. So sender starts delivering some message and we say that communication has begun. You might be wondering why sender is a person or a system. Many a times human beings themselves start communicating. But wherever there is situation where human being cannot impart information or human being cannot start communication, human being uses some different channel or some different system device to communicate with others. For example, if we are getting messages which are automated, then the system which is delivering us those automated message becomes senders. If we put alarm on our cell phone, then early morning who wakes us up? The cell phone. So cell phone is sending us message, wake up. That's how we can say that sender always need not be a person, it can be a system also. Let us take examples about Raghav. Raghav wants to seek permission of his mother for picnic. So starts talking with her. Here Raghav starts talking to his mother. So Raghav is initiator of this communication and speaking to mother is initiated by Raghav. He is the communicator. He is the sender of messages. The messages are sent to his mother. So sender is the person or system who or which starts the process of communication by delivering the message. When we say that Raghav's exams are approaching and his father wishes to make him realize this and wishes him to focus on studies, so he initiates discussion over dinner, we can clearly see that father is the person who has started dialogue over dinner. So father is sending messages to Raghav. Here father becomes the sender. Raghav receives call from his friend Neha who missed her previous class. So she wishes to know about the topic talk in the her previous class. Here though Raghav is receiving call and Raghav will talk to Neha, Neha is the main sender of the message because Neha has made a call and Neha has initiated dialogue over phone with Raghav. So Neha is a sender. When Raghav's friends want him to join for picnic and they start describing the picnic spot while sitting in the canteen, they are the persons who are describing the picnic spot with some intention in mind. So whenever sender initiates dialogue, he or she or the group has some intention in mind and to fulfill that intention or to achieve some effect, he or she or they initiate the dialogue, initiate communication. So they are senders of the communication. What are various roles of sender? As we have seen, there is always some objective of communication, some intention of communication which is decided by the sender. Sender first decides that I have this objective, this aim in my mind and so as to achieve this aim, I will initiate communication. How to initiate this communication? How should I talk or how should I convey message to the learner? This is the decision again sender needs to take. You can see in the picture the teacher wants that learner to learn something new. The intention is clear. And the teacher has also decided, selected some medium. Now learner is interacting with this medium. But the role of selecting proper medium always lies with the teacher. That clearly means 
that teacher always need not lecture or impart information through her verbal medium she can select any medium but her objective should be clear and teacher should possess role of selecting appropriate medium those sender selects proper medium immediately communication may not begin any sender needs to analyze the situation before starting communication the message may be already ready with the learner uh, with the sender for example teacher might have prepared material teacher might have converted messages into proper medium into proper form but teacher will plan when to initiate this communication and accordingly initiate the communication many a times we need to take decision which subject to be taught when after learners to return from playground always teachers give them some buffer time to relax to settle down and transit from play mood to some serious mood if they want to teach them subjects like science geography or teachers can choose to maintain their mood as it is and make science or geography a fun now when actual communication starts the form of communication comes into the picture so as per the medium selected and as per appropriate situation sender gives some form to the message teachers also need to decide about the form of the message the form can be verbal non verbal in non verbal there may be many forms such as body language gestures pictures illustrations photographs videos selecting proper medium and giving appropriate form is teacher's responsibility as a sender once everything is ready sender delivers the message this final stage of making the message reach to the receiver is responsibility of the sender so right from deciding aim of communication up to the actual delivery of the message entire responsibility lies with the sender